Hey gang, Jack Allaire here. I uh, just wanted to let you know that I know I just told you guys that I wouldn't be doing one of these, and here I am. I'm such a weak human being. I'm originally from uh, the north, and down here in Texas, so forgive me as I perspire. But I was uh, on my way to work, and saw some things that I just had to grab. So, sorted out one of these, little Leap Pad 2. It was there for 75 cents, had batteries in it. Turned it on and the touch screen didn't work. I've done this before and I'll post a link up here to the video that will show you where to go to fix. So if your kid has a Leapster 2, especially this kind, and the screen ever breaks, it's a real simple fix. You essentially just hold down one button, turn it on, you go to screen calibration, you go boom, 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 done. And it works just fine. This one works just fine. I'll probably uh, see what I can do to play around with it. Might turn it orange, my favorite color. Don't know. But, 75 cents. Really couldn't walk past that. Now the next thing was I saw a bunch of stuff in this little bag. Now I'll cover up the price. It says 17 pieces as is. So I think, okay. And I see it and I go, oh, wow. So let's get right into it. Uh, it's Nintendo stuff. Starting out. Uh, Tom and Jerry. Sorry, I got a couch, so you know I'm up to uh, Ashton's level of budget now. But it's a nice green couch. Uh, my uh, niece is actually fixing the cushions for me. Because one of them was a little torn. But uh, Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, and Track Meat. You made me happy. Tiny Toons Adventures. Loved this show as a kid. Loved the game. A uh, game that I actually pretty much despised, Skate or Die. But it was like it, all these were in the package. Jurassic Park. Okay. Battletoads and Double Dragon. Yeah. I was, I was real surprised to find this. And it makes me real happy to add to the collection. Uh, favorite of mine that I think... Yep. I actually bought it already. But, pro wrestling. So I've got one of these. Uh, this one's actually in remarkably good shape. So I'll probably replace it with this one and pass along the other. The original Donkey Kong 3, the arcade classic series. Never played this. So, know nothing about it. It's really rare to find a Nintendo game that I know nothing about. I'll probably record when I actually throw that in. RC Pro-Am, always a favorite. This one either for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, well. But, RC Pro-Am, Super Mario Brothers 2. Already have a copy, but once again, this copy is in better shape than the one I have. So I think I'll pass it along. Uh, now I just actually picked this game up last weekend. So now I have two copies of this as well. Just doubles day, I guess. Super Mario Bros. 3. This makes my third rivaling Sonic for the game I own the most copies of. Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Yeah. That takes me back a ways. Smash TV. Now in the arcade it was awesome because you had two controllers. Probably one of the... Mm, one of the most over the top twin stick shooters before they were called twin stick shooters. I mean there was Robotron and there were a few others but this was the one that I remember from from my childhood from not like from a previous 
generation. Smash TV had two controllers. And you could do the same thing with this. You could plug in two Nintendo controllers and use the thumb pads to where one would control the movement, one would control the shooting. So screw you analog sticks. We were doing just fine on our own. Uh, the last game, which I'm terrified about, is Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. Hear that? That's my dog. That's how hot it is out here. This is ridiculous. And the, the funny part is that I'm up near the top of Texas. It gets hotter down further. Hang on. I'm fishing around in my backpack to find... There it is. Okay. So if you're keeping count, that's... 15, I believe. Yeah. So it's 17 pieces. This is the 16th piece. RF module for Nintendo. Big one. Right. This is number 17. Huh? Yeah! Top loader. This is the first I have ever seen one in the wild. And I saw it for such a great price, I had to snap it up. So. That's what I picked up. I picked up a few other things, but I'm going to do some reviews on those. So I don't think I'll bore you with them. Uh, mostly it's just uh, stuff from two decades ago that might be a little interesting to the people who haven't seen them. But that's my pickup videos. So got all of that. 17 items. 15 games. For $14.91. $14.91 for all that. Less than a dollar a game. And Ed has kind of mentioned this. Uh, he mentioned it on his, his pickup video where it gets to the point where you're like, oh, more Nintendo games. But then you see them and you're like, ah, oh, they're, but they're, but they're, but they're only like 75 cents, 50 cents each. Oh, all right, come on. It's like, it's like the stray cat where you, you know that you're going to give it a good home, but you don't know if it's going to have another, anyways. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna go, uh, probably grab, uh, something to drink, because it's stupid hot out here. As always, uh, play on!